Golden Cross, which is about the cop strike of the railway station. Kind of in 17, 18, 19 degrees centigrade. It's hot outside and it's hot in here and we've got some hot players as well. Chris Curtis, you may have seen before. Uh, where will he be? Oh, you'll be in that end. Uh, welcome, big welcome to Dave Clark, the 2008 mastermind uh, and the self-confessed best player in Wales. <laughs> Until today, because we've got Vince here. Vince O'Connell, who's all the way from Oxford with Chris, got stuck on the Seven Bridge, got stuck behind the Nazi at Lake and Delamere, and we've finally managed to make it here to Golden Cross. I've got to say that if you're in Cali, visit the Golden Cross. We've got rock behind the bar, and he's the most helpful, kindest guy imaginable. So, you know, if you get a chance to come to Golden Cross, it's a great pub. And, Got a good guy. And uh, we've got, got me, Steve Kidd, who, uh, why do I do this? Because it's fantastic. Come down and have a go at it yourself sometime. If you like wizards, come and do uh, a, a light speed quiz at the end of every month somewhere in the country. If you'd like a light speed quiz close to where you live, hey, phone us up, you never know. You get a couple of mates to come along, you probably do better than I do. Uh, we've got four rounds today, 60 questions each, making a total of 240 questions. If you don't know the rule, I'll explain it briefly. It's two points for a correct answer. It's one point if you buzz in and are wrong if you interrupt the question. Once the question finished, you can buzz in and there will be no penalty. So once the question ends, save it, just press and have a go. That's the best thing to do. We're going to get 60 questions from uh, Chris. So bear with me while I uh, get into the scoring and wait for the OK before you ask the next question. So, Lightspeed Quiz 2016, number 5, the Welsh Championship, net prize, growth prize, two places available in the Q12 at the end of the year. Thank you, Chris. OK. This hero was created by writer Robert E. Howard in 1970. It's correct. David Clark gets two points. So, after losing a war in which he led these gods, Atlas was forced to lift the sky on his shoulder. Though he was one of them, Prometheus, Titan, is correct. <laughs> this location has its lowest point at Bentley Trench. A lake here lies under Vostok Station. Come Mount Erebus is found on Ross. Is correct. Okay. These objects have only three externally verifiable properties: mass, charge, and angular momentum, according to the electron. Incorrect. According to the no hair theorem, and their size can be determined using Schwarzschild radius. They can be formed following a supernova, and one of them is believed to be at the centre of the Milky Way. Name these astronomical entities from which light cannot escape. That is correct. Not much in it. Which is there. This mountain range is home to the threatened spectacle bear. And large silver mines were found. And is correct. In this work, the word pandemonium is first. Paradise lost from now. Is correct. Okay. This musician sang duets like Let's Call the Whole Thing Off with Ella Fitzgerald and recorded albums with his top five. Louis Armstrong. Is correct. Okay. This element is the second lightest halogen after fluorine. Who's the? It's a uh, steam. It's chlorine. Is correct. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Raid arrays are combinations of these objects that often connect via IDE or serial ATA. They are sometimes replaced by SSDs and can be structured using NTFS or FAT. 
these objects contain spinning platters that use magnetism to store data. This is correct. The hard disk drive is the hard drive was looking for, the hard disks are accept. This man's ship was saved from destruction after Orpheus used his lyre. Correct. This city is protected from floods by a dam centered on the island of Kotlin. A bronze equestrian statue of this city's namesake is correct. St. Petersburg. No. I think it would be good anyway, so. Because name this Russian city formerly known as Leningrad and Petrograd. I might have prompted on you if I was yeah, being yeah. generous. Yeah. Okay. Day 12. These animals can be harmed by the spread of varroa mites, and their best known species is mellifera. Yeah. Correct. The fourth chapter in this collection of adventures features a sensible badger attempting to. Yeah. Is correct. David, you were. Uh... Oh, miles behind it. Fourth of the second bit. <laughs> Pope Innocent III tried to make this document void after one of its signers repented. David. <laughs> He's correct. What was the after David? Magna Carta. Some of the most important teachings of this religion include the Four Noble Truths. Steve, Buddhism is correct. Change the mind the last minute of the night. <laughs> Zero and seven minutes. Yeah, nothing in it at all. The title character of this play mourns a fellow of infinite jest. Oh, correct. Uh, Four hundredths of a second. This man founded the University of Virginia and designed the mansion of Monticello. David Thomas Jefferson. Is correct. No way. Yes, sir. Oh, without you. Well, he owned Monticello. Okay. This person from Gath defied the arms. Is correct. Okay. This system uses the Dalvik virtual machine and specialised versions of it are used on the Nook and the Kindle Fire. Its version numbers is correct. David, yeah, that's a really good run you've been on. One of Maxwell's equations describes how this physical quantity produces a magnetic field. A diode allows it to flow in only one direction. Electricity. Prompt. Current. Correct. This Olympics saw Kenya's only ever non-athletics gold medal when Robert Raglia won the welterweight boxing and the first black male swimmer to win an Olympic medal. Well, that's 1988 so. Correct. Great answer. And it was Anthony Nasty, very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You missed a goal from Imran Shawali inspired the commentary. Where are the Germans? But frankly, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> this element turns a dark colour when combined with starches, which is one reason why it's used in Logol solution. In what? Logols. L-O-G-O-L. At room temperature, it is a solid that sublimes into a purple gas. Bromine. Incorrect. <laughs> this element, or barium, is used in most contrast solutions for CT scans. And this element is used naturally by the body to make thyroid hot. Iodine is correct. Among this poet's famous lines are, "'Tis better to have loved." Is correct. Not. 
in this novel, one character has a vision of the destruction of Sandalford, which ultimately turns out to be true. That character, Fiverr, starts Damn! David. Watership down. Is correct. A poker game aboard the 20th Century Limited sees four jacks beat four nines, costing the loser $15,000, which he can't pay as he's lost his wallet. The latter part of this film features the technique of past posting and revolves around the phrase, place on Lucky Dan, being misunderstood by the gangster Doyle Lonergan. It's Steve. It's Steve, yeah. It is for Steve. Uh, take them a second, David. The Hook, The Tale and the Wire are chapters in which 1973 film featuring Paul Newman and Robert Redford was coming. Uh, Steve. Okay. This athlete was unexpectedly beaten by Kenny Harrison. Duncan Edwards. Very good answer. Vince, yeah. what can you do about that kind of shit? People don't know the answer, I don't know. Okay. This company commissioned the 2004 advertising campaign GUR, which was based on the idea of pay something, change something. A number of vehicles made by this company appear in an advert set to the impossible dream. Honda. Is correct. Okay. The 2001 foot and mouth outbreak led to this race being cancelled. David. Is incorrect. The what did he He said the Isle of Man TT. Right, Ned White. It's the Grand National. Meg won. Right, that and a substitute race being held at Sandown. Master Smudge won the 1980 edition of this race after Tide Cottage was disqualified for a positive doping test. Other winners of this race include Imperial Commander, Lord Windermere and Arkle, and Tony McCoy's only victory in this race came in 2012 on Synchronised. This race has been won three times by Best Mates and twice by Kato Star. Name this national hunt race that takes place each March in Gloucestershire. Well, I've got two shots here. I don't know which one it is. So I'll go for the other one. John Dilkup. He's correct. Yeah. You know what the other guest was going to do, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but I thought that was more like Tony McCoy was dragging the champion there. Yeah. No, best mate when I don't come through. Yeah, it was a giveaway. Yeah. Well, it will be for you. Sorry. But I'll say it's rubbish. Uh, Matt, best of you, is next. God. Okay. He wrote that. This is the way the world ends. Not T.S. Eliot. Is correct. Will you stop doing those kind of questions? Is that kind of <laughs> Will you sit here and watch them? T.S. Eliot. Did he? Yeah, about 1923. <laughs> there we are. Off you go. Soul Jar Slim and Static Major have both achieved this feat in the US. The time and instruments of one song to achieve this feat in the UK could be heard far, far away. While the only song to achieve this feat in both the US and the UK states that it's time to spread our wings and fly, don't let another day go by. Name this feat first achieved by Buddy Holly. Hospice number one. It's correct. During a brief stay in hospital, this man tells a hospital nurse, get off me, I don't know where you've been. That's important. It's correct. Well, this man provided the voice for the title pigeon in Valiant, and he played Tom Lincoln and his clone Lincoln Six Echo in the 2005 film The Island. As well as Christian in Moulin Rouge, this is correct. This man made his international debut in the 1992 World Cup and is the only player of his nationality in the all-time top 100 batting averages. That might have changed, but for the world, it's still great. His international playing career and that of Henry Alonga ended in 2003 after they wore black armbands to protest against the death of democracy in the nation they represented. As a coach, this man oversaw three wins. Okay, I'm going to go for Dave Hick. It's incorrect. Minus one. Incorrect. Oh, thank you, buddy. Two thumbs. 
Incorrect. Oh. Andy Flower. Oh. A film with this number in the title sees a criminal challenged by Francois Toulour to steal a flower chalet while a deadly virus is in yeah. incorrect. While a deadly virus is investigated by James Cole in a Terry Gilliam film named for this number of monkeys. Twelve is correct. At least that was on the right. You were at Ocean's Twelve. Yes. Our Ocean's Eleven. Our Andy Garcia gets them to. I've never seen that. Oh right. Yeah. Francois Toulour is another popular man. man. A 2005 film version of this television show featured the voices of Robbie Williams and Magic Roundabout. He's correct. Well, well done, sir. Magic Roundabout. I don't even know who Robbie Williams. This film's main villain, codenamed Janus, is assured a messy death as he's played by Sean Bean. That death is by being crushed by a huge satellite transmitter. Oh, He's correct. Oh, well, uh, 50, 500. We missed out Judy Dench calling Bond a sexist misogynist dinosaur. Uh, Dex Clark, that's you, isn't it? Go on. James Hater. He's got the fascist hat trick for Bournemouth. Correct. I will have Bournemouth. Yeah. 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 Bournemouth is the, was the answer. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. so James Hayter yeah. scored the fastest hat trick, and especially for Vince. This team thrashed Birmingham City 8-0. Oh no! Got that oh, no. This, team, this team shot Manchester United in the third round of the 83-84 FA Cup. Yeah. Shortly yeah. after Harry Redknapp became club manager. James Hayter kept the lead out of the Premiership as well. Right. In the Football oh, question. Yay. Yeah. Okay. These creatures are introduced to station K7 by a trader, Serrano. Steve. Chibbles. Correct. Are you going for that, David? Yeah. Awesome. Stand by. Serrano <laughs> Jones. K7. Come, baby, 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 come. This year saw a knockout delivered to Michael Bora in Las Vegas, allowing George Foreman to become the oldest heavyweight champion in history. He's correct. Oh, great advert. We finished off with Roberto Baggio blazing over the crossbar in a penalty shootout to have the World Cup to Brazil. In an episode of Glee, Sue Sylvester performed a version of this song that replaced the line, Betty Davis, we love you, with Will Schuster, I hate you. This song was inspired by a type of house dance that emerged in the 1980s Harlem ballroom scene and includes a spoken word section that contains the lines, Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean, and the cover of a magazine is correct. Well, then there was a dance trend. Name this Madonna yeah. song that implores you to strike a pose. Hey, listen, fellas. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no. This man is alleged to have said, I wouldn't play for England even if you paid me. A hospital cast of... Andy Murray. Is incorrect. Ah, it was worth a tilt at that one. A hospital pass to Matthew... Sorry, is that another? No, that's me negative. Okay. A hospital pass to Matthew Burke by this man nearly cost the 1986 Glenislow Cup. And part of the Sydney Football Stadium is this man's corner after his wayward pass gifted the 1989 David is correct. The first person to perform this action on television received a Larder Estate car as a, as a matchman break. 147 breaking snooker is correct. No, it was. It was the day. No, it was. Sorry, Terry Griffiths beaten in the final. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Two songs on this album were originally recorded by the Shirelles, including one about a girl who... I've got to go for Bill Spencer's Christmas album. ...is incorrect. Oh, uh, well, I know it's what it is now. Damn, sorry. Including one about a girl who gets a thrill through her fingertips. This album includes a track that begins by describing a girl whose looks were way beyond compare, and its final track is a cover of the Phil Medley and Burt Russell song, Twist and Shout. 
It's pretty tough on the Beatles. It's correct. So featuring a hit single of the same name, what is this 63 album, the first studio album by the Beatles? In the television series Lost, Mikhail Bakunin's cat is named after this sportswoman. This woman is the only person to have been awarded the Olympic order on two separate occasions. She defected to the United States to escape from the regime of Nikolai. Is correct. So it gets lost after lost. She was on the fight last night as well, wasn't she? Sorry? She was on the fight last night as well. She was? Okay, this poet wrote about a maiden who was killed by a jealous angel and who lived in a kingdom by the sea. Is correct. You yeah. missed about. He wrote about a creature that sits on the padded bust of Pallas. He just on my chamber door and repeats the word nevermore. Is correct. Yeah. 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 Ye
go. This god, sometimes known as Eubonius or Clymenus, punished Sisyphus by requiring him to roll a boulder up a... Zeus. Incorrect. Oh! Do we have any more buzzes or can I continue? You can continue. By requiring him to roll a boulder up a hill. This oldest son of Rhea abducted his future wife while she was picking flowers in the fields of Nysa and then tricked her into staying with him for six months each year by feeding her pomegranate seeds. Name this husband of Persephone, the Greek god of the underworld. Persephone. Incorrect. Hades. No, Hades. Hades. Two thumbs. Right up. James Woods is the best Hades ever in yes. the Sydney cartoon Hercules. Definitely yeah. worth a watch. Okay. This man's essays include one about a policeman in Burma shooting an elephant. No! It's correct. Mac, Dora, and Lee Chung try to throw a party for Doc in this author's novel, Canary Row. John Steinberg. It's correct. No. This man won gold medals in both the 1500 metres and 3000 metres at the 1999 World Indoor Championships. Oh, was he invested in it? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know, but uh, we, he's not registered, so you, you're not registered. Oh, okay. Yes, you're based in El Baruch. He's incorrect. This he's man... That's wrong, yeah. That's yeah. wrong, yeah. 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 This man and Daniel Coleman traded world records in the mid to late 90s, and this man won the Berlin Marathon four times in a row from 2006 to 2009. At the 2003 World Championships, this man narrowly lost to his countryman and heir apparent, Kennedy Sipakila, named this Ethiopian long distance runner who won the 10,000 metres at the Atlanta and Sydney Olympics. No. Henry Romo. No. Mighty Gabriel Selassie. Mighty Gabriel Selassie. Yeah. Mind free. Go on. This character's birthday is May the 8th. She trains the fish she catches at the Hop, a black market in District 12. No, I was going to say District 10. The moment you said District, I thought I'd be on it, but no, nowhere. Minus one. After the reaping, she found. Oh, that is everything. correct. You know, sometimes I've got to know the answer to that. It'll just come in the yeah. out of my mouth. After the reaping, she volunteers to take her sister Primrose's place. Her tumultuous relationship with Peter continues and changes through Catching Fire and Mockingjay. Name the protagonist of Susan Collins' Hunger Games series. Katniss Evendine. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. In this work, a floating female carries a flame lit sub sorry, a flame lit lamp, and a soldier is clutching a broken sword from where a flower is growing. This work also has a distraught horse in the background and a bull standing over a woman who is grieving over a dead child. Name this work by Pablo Picasso. Guernica. Is correct. Okay, that's it. That's two more. This character interrupts a round of storytelling by attacking a stash of wine skins. He wears a wash basin as a helmet while calling himself the Knight of the Sorry Face. He owns the horse Rossinanti. Uh, Don Quixote. Correct. And frequently speaks of his love for his Dulcinea to his friend Sancho Panza. Self-proclaimed knight from La Mancha who fights against rumours in a book by Miguel de Cervantes, Don Quixote de La Mancha. And finally, he was the first goalkeeper to win the PFA Players Player of the Year. At Arsenal, this man became the first man in English football to make 1,000 senior appearances. That James? He's correct. At Arsenal, now that's what's well I know any. David? He scored a goal after Alex Stepney misjudged a goal kick in the 1967 Charity Shield, and the last of his 119 international appearances came in the 3-0 defeat to Brazil 
1986 World Cup. Thank you for a lovely set of questions. Well, uh, they know that is eclipse first, the rest know that. <laughs>